Get it, Papa. Well, something tells me that there's some spooky stuff around here. And I have a feeling it has something to do with this banner over here. Plus, look at the stuff on that door over there. Look familiar? It should. Except it's a different place, but it's the same decor. But I say to you, um, who knows what's inside? It might be different stuff, so that's why I'm over here. To go take a look so follow me into the spirit of halloween in august before it gets too cold to be out here doing this so this time there's only one door so i'm hopefully i can find my way in and uh oh i see people trying to get out already there's always people leaving right when i walk in let's see what happens Oh, it is different. Oh, it's arranged all different. But look at that guy. They didn't have him at the other place. But boy, they have him here. What does he do, I wonder? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what he does. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to him? What's he looking at? He's looking at the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. I didn't do it. He's looking at the ceiling. What's up there? Oh, wait, he came back. Anyway, we're entering the carnival once again. <laughs> and look, it's this ghost face isn't invisible. The other place had an invisible one. Gee, I wonder what he does. Uh-oh. Ooh, he plays music. Whoa. Hey, be careful with that thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, should I go through this, this corn evil gate? I think I will. Let's let's see what happens. Oh, this is this this one has all kind of stuff in. Oh look! It's the Wheel of Misfortune. But where's Bantam White when you need her? Let's see. Oh, it really works. It's, well, I think it does. I don't want to mess something up. I better not fool with it because I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. So, uh, let's just manually try it. Yep. That's it. Because you're on loop that. Uh-oh. Oh, that's that guy back there. And here's a skeleton man, but I'm not sure what he's gonna do to us. What you gonna do, skeleton man? Plus, he's taking a nap. For the rest of it, that, that might be a while. I don't know if I have that much time, Mr. Skeleton Man. So let's see what happens over here. <laughs> On this side of the Carnival Midway. You can win these cool dolls, I guess. Look at those. Let's see. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, he's just laughing. <laughs> That's the happiest pumpkin head guy I ever saw. <laughs> yeah, he's just happy. I kind of like him. It's like happy ghouls are fun ghouls. This down the duck. This one, I, the, the other one, they had people in the way. But this one, uh. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to shoot, but I don't see it happen, doing anything. That's the heartburn guy. I remember him. Let's see if he does anything. Oh, I just shot him in the skull. <laughs> Edwin, he uh, he has heartburn. 
and that really is terrifying and this is pretty cool this right here is pretty cool because you can make your very own um, uh, was it Zoltar the uh, fortune guy oh look it's got a cool magic uh, orb and it's all swirling around with magical uh, magicness and of course we have our friendly popcorn eating rat down here <laughs> there he is it's just like a real carnival oh look there's another one he said he i think he's had too much to eat because he turned his back on it oh i didn't even see this guy look that trying uh oh i'm afraid he's gonna do something but i don't know what Just looking around at the scenery while his bones pulse with skeletal energy. Wow. I'm super impressed with this one. Let's see what. <laughs> okay. Look, let's see what it's like to be Zoltar. Uh, here's the. Ah, it sounds different in here too. There's the magical orb. Ooh. That's as much fun as really being entombed in a glass box. Look to watch out because they're playing lots of beautiful ABBA music <laughs> for, for, for some reason. Abba and Halloween just go together, I guess. So there you go. But uh, yeah, we got some of the, the regular assortment, including uh, you got a Ghostbuster jacket there. That's pretty cool. And I wonder if this has, yeah, it's got the symbol on the back. It's official. And this could be either a Pugsley uh, sweater or you could be a crook or a burglar. So there you go, take your pick. Oh, but look, you can even get a uh, Uncle Fester suit. Wait, the, oh, it kind of has a, a magic light bulb in it somewhere. So you can really look like him. Oh, here's some of my favorites. It's the, uh, the creepy giant uh, marionette guy. <laughs> See? Can't hear him too good. <laughs> oh, wait, he's going again. <laughs> oh, and here's my friend, the happy bear. Let's see if the happy bear is going to do his little dance for us. Um, I don't know. Happy bear. Oh, there he goes. It's the happiest bear in town. <laughs> yep. Nothing says happy like a bear on a ball. Oh, and look, the giant spider monster. Ay, ay, ay. Holy kachinas, look at that. Oh, he's like, he's like slow motion recoil action. Oh, and this one, uh, you, you even have your, your groovy uh, hippie outfits. Uh, so you can, so you can dress up all groovy and hippie-ish. Except they only have girl suits. I don't, I don't see the, the stuff for the guys. But uh, that's okay. Let's see what we got back here. This is breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. It's like Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, they have a Beavis and Butthead suit. I don't see any yet. But wait, where's the uh, 
Oh, I don't even see burglar suits. They got prisoner suits. Oh well. Here's an assortment of, of fun accessories and stuff. Um, you can get your space blaster. Or, oh wait. And it makes authentic space noises. Don't ask me how I know. And oh look, you can get monster bolts for your neck bone. <laughs> See? And dark brown beard. Super realistic. And look at all these fabulous looks. That's pretty awesome. And they even have stuff for Oktoberfest. Why stop at um well, I stop with Halloween. You cover Oktoberfest at the beginning of the month and bring it back for Halloween if you want. Or not. You know, whatever. Whatever. Oh, here's the cool wig assortment. Wigs that mimic real life. Like the undead guy up there. Look that. And here's Fashion Bob. <laughs> Wait, oh no, Fashion Bob has a big glare. Look at this Fashion Bob. Say hello to Fashion Bob. I like this because you can get your uh, your theatrical blood. You can get a little tube of it to squirt all over your face and stuff. Or if you're extra feel extra bloody, you can get a little bottle of blood or the giant size jugo blood it's like family size if you need that much blood oh look it's some more carnival oh it's the ticket booth <laughs> with it's wanda webworth i guess that wanda webworth is a ticket taker but wait y'all look close i'm gonna there's a coin thing here i'm gonna do the coin and you watch, watch Wanda. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Wait, that might have got it. Ah. Come on, Wanda. Wanda's taking a nap. I don't push that. I do this. See, I'm trying to insert the coin, and the light goes all crazy. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> I need, I need two, two senior tickets, please. One for me and one for Pappy. He's only half a senior. He's ha half. He's not too big. So yeah, a half ticket for Pappy and one senior ticket for me. Thanks, Wanda. Let's see what else we got. Here's some exciting uh, Haunted Mansion stuff. Look at these. A magical Madame Leota thing. And that's one of the statues from the library, I think. Library, depending on how you spell it. Okay. Here's some other decor. We might have seen some of these the other day, but just in case you didn't, now you can. Oh, here's some more Haunted Mansion stuff. It's like a little window with a haunted curtain inside it. That's pretty fancy. They have all kind of signage and stuff you can get. Look all that. Oh, and here's some delicious cereal. Bloody rice cereal treats. Yum. I don't know. Uh, Pappy Jack's is pretty darn scary all by himself. In case you didn't know. And it's not supposed to be. That's just how it is. There's some, some more uh, witchy stuff. There's some Beetlejuice stuff. You can get his official sign. Those are always good. Oh, I wonder what she does. What do you want? You don't have an appointment, do you? 
You'll have to wait if you don't have an appointment. Number 54,601, Burn Dock. Oh, man. Oh, here's like an assortment of bobbleheads. <laughs> Look at all that. You can get all kind of cool, haunted, creepy bobbleheads. Oh, what are these things? The Chucky Side Stepper. Wow. <laughs> He's choking me. I'll be back. I always come back. Well, Chucky's determined. Let's see. Wow. Uh, see what this guy does. It's Billy Butcherson. Oh. How about you? Oh, there he goes. Look that. It's it is showtime. Look at him. It's like dinner and a show. I'm out of here. And here's what some of these things look like when they're in their boxes, like including the uh, happy dancing bear. Um, and you can see, here's my hand for scale. It's really not that big of a box. Uh, the scary thing is packing it up to put it back in there and be able to close the top. Spooky. Yeah, here's one of the creepiest uh, decorative items of all, the stuffed dummy prop. You just get them and just leave them like that. <laughs> It'll creep anybody out. Yeah, see, they, they keep adding stuff so you never know what you're going to find. And, uh, and either go to different stores or, or just keep coming back to the same one every once in a while and see what new stuff they have. Like the Minecraft suits. Or this, one of the scariest things of all, this that marshmallow head guy thing. I don't know. I, uh, I just don't understand it. But they have the chrome version too. In case you really feel like being fancy. Wait, I don't know how I missed this. It's uh, the Cotton Candy Dan. Look at him. He's all ready for, for making delicious cotton candy for you and your friends. See, wait. Let's see if I can make him wake up. Wait. Oh, there he goes. Better be careful oh. walking around at this place. Why? Oh, look that. You can get in all kinds <laughs> of sticky situations here. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like a candied apple. Thanks, Cotton Candy Dan. And don't forget about your favorite pet, because they have uh, exciting, exciting pet outfits, too. Like, look at the joy on this dog's face to be uh, dressed up as SpongeBob. Or the trick or treat uh, dog here. Um, let's see. Here's one of my favorites. The, it's the pumpkin pup poncho. <laughs> but this is, this is probably my favorite. <laughs> Look that! It's the devil doggy poncho. <laughs> oh God. Yep. You can you can have it all. I don't see any for cats though. No, a scary picture would be a cat with one of these things on them. This is the Adams family style too. Talk about super spookiness. That's a spookiestness or something like that. <laughs> so, and I think everything's all fogged up. Look at that. How mysterious is it? It's pretty mysterious. It's super fogged up. <laughs> That's even better. So, I'm scared. I'm getting out of here. Check back soon for more Look Dad.